वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स मैं सब डॉक्टर श्रीकांत भोसले आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट शिक्षण महर्षि नंदेव मोहिकर कॉलेज कलम डिस्ट्रिक्ट उस्मानाबाद सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर सो एवरी वन नोज अबाउट द टिश्यू कल्चर टिश्यू कल्चर मीन्स सम टिश्यू टेक फ्रॉम द प्लांट्स एंड ग्रोइंग न्यू प्लांट दिस इज द वेरी सिंपल डेफिनेशन मीन्स In this plant tissue culture, we produce a large number of plantlets from a single cell or single tissue. In that condition, the cell having the total potency. Total potency means total potentiality of the cell. Means one cell is responsible for growing a new plant. This is the total potency. So first of all, we will uh, learn. introduction to tissue culture this is the student our bsc student working on the tissue culture <coughs> so what is the plant tissue culture a plant tissue culture is the technique of growing plant cell tissue organ seed or other plant part in a sterile environment on a nutrient medium so first of all you can see here the cell tissue and organ cell the single cell or tissue or organ organ such as the flower and root stem etc and seed in that situation embryo also uh, included embryo culture also and other plant part sterile environment sterile environment means a septic condition which is uh, produced by the laminar ear floor ear laminar uh, sorry laminar ear flow which is a uh, produced sterile conditions in the laboratory and the most important things today we will discuss the nutrient medium nutrient mediums in that nutrient medium the micronutrient macronutrients growth hormones and all essential components are include in the nutrients so why why we are producing the plants from the tissue culture the first the production of the clones of the plant that produce particularly good flowers fruits or have other desirable traits okay other desirable traits means flower you know fruit you know and desirable traits means if you want to uh, take some traits from the specific plant you sowing the seed that is not giving uh, uh, better yield or uh, better uh, traits but desirable traits you can directly isolated from the plants with the help of tissue culture the quick production mature plants quick production mature plants in that situation you are producing plants in the laboratory condition means in vitro condition and this is the quick production of the mature plants and the production of multiplies of the plant in the absence of seed means you don't use the seed only production multiples plant from the tissue of the plant or necessary pollinators to produce seeds okay so the regeneration of whole plant from plant cell that have been genetically modified you can also uh, including this part uh, genetically modification tissue culture is the most important things about the uh, genetically modification organism because without uh, tissue culture you can't uh, multiply your okay you can see here the uh, colorful <coughs> cauliflower because this is the genetically modified means color change by the genetically or insertion of a gene so why we produce the plants sterile condition reduce <coughs> disease transmission so in that sterile condition we are production we are produce the plant and this plant is the totally disease free plants then allows production of plants from seed that otherwise very low chances of germination and growing means if you are uh, sowing the seed that have the uh, very low chances to uh, germinating or germinating power is also low but in that situation uh, you can see in the orchids the production of plants from 
seeds because the orchid seeds is very uh, small and uh, very uh, small and th th that type of seed uh, germinating very uh, slowly or uh, not germinate or uh, dormancy will occur but in that tissue culture you can directly use the plant part and produce new plants then so to clean particular plants of viral and other infections such as the bacteria fungi we are uh, taking part from the um, plants which is uh, uh, cut from the plant and uh, in the laboratory condition we are giving to the hgcl to treatment for uh, infection free uh, plants or plant part or explants and explant means the plants where we use in the tissue culture so and to quick multiply these plants as clean stock clean stock means totally disease free stock for horticulture and agriculture okay so how to produce how to produce plant you can see here a, a diagrammatic or photographic representation of the root carrot plant in root carrot plant cells in the growth medium this is the special in the ms medium uh, ms medium is the uh, murashi and skug this is the two scientists who discover the nutrient medium for uh, tissue culture and you can use here the single cell in the medium the single cell division in culture and this single cell produce young plant in the test tube and finally after the uh, test tube and um, in the field we are showing in the adult plant so this is the overall photographic representation of tissue culture so how they happen the adult plant cells are totipotent meaning they have the ability to give rise a fully differentiated plants okay so because of this it is the possible to collect cells from the mutual plant and use those cells to produce clones of the plants means every cell having the capacity means totipotency and this totipotency works and one single cell produce whole plant but plant tissue culture basic things the most plant tissue culture is performed under a septic condition and laminar air flow is the only one equipment who produce the septic condition for the tissue culture so living plant material from the environments are naturally contaminated on their surfaces means uh, airborne fungi or bacteria are present on the surface of the explant uh, which uh, explant means uh, plant part uh, you are taking for the uh, experiment of the tissue culture and sometime interiors maybe uh, plant uh, also infected to the all uh, different type of fungi and bacteria in that situation sometime interior fungi also include with microorganisms so surface sterilization of the stirring material means explant so uh, starter uh, starting materials means explant is the starting material and surface sterilization we are uh, using the sodium hypochloride and uh, alcohol for uh, surface sterilization and in chemical solution usually alcohol and sodium or calcium hypochlorite is required for the sterilization so explant are the usually placed on the surface of solid culture medium means agar agar powder is used here for the solidification of the medium and we are uh, we are uh, inoculating the uh, explant on the culture medium but are sometimes placed directly into a liquid medium uh, such as the single cell or suspension culture used for the liquid uh, liquid medium when cell suspension culture are desired okay so culture media are generally composed of inorganic salt plus a few organic nutrient so we, we are uh, discussing about the culture media which is generally composed of inorganic salts okay two types of uh, salts or nutrients are present organic nutrients and inorganic nutrients vitamins and plant hormones this is also includes okay so as culture grow piece are typically sliced off and transfer to new media means subculture when you are success uh, you are taking successful uh, experiment tissue culture so next 
uh, experiment is the subculture subculture means one bottle or one media the plant transfer from one medium to another medium so to allow for growth or to alter the morphology of the culture means in some condition the shoot are growing root are totally absent or root are growing but shoot uh, growing not very well in that condition we are transfer this plant into another medium so this is the subculture another medium is the medium is uh, very good for the shoot or root regeneration so this is the subculture okay this is the laminar air flow so uh, glassware washing and storage area so how to uh, lab design you can see here the media preparation and sterilization area then refrigerator is the most important the balance hot plate ph meter autoclave growth rooms and aseptic transfer area and laminar flow hoods or laminar air flow you can see here the photograph of the laminar air flow this is the aseptic cabinet the working surface this is the working surface this is the aseptic cabinets and here the hepa hepa means high efficiency perfumlet air filters this air filters the air taking from the fans and release here this all cabinet is the sterile condition or aseptic condition produced by this hepa filters this is the air flow button light uv uv also including because uh, when you are kept the medium inside the working table the total uh, total laminar air flow close and uv light will be open this uv light helps to the uh, kill the all germs inside this uh, working tables or uh, laminar air flow working areas so this is the pre filters okay so this is the overall diagram of the hepa filters then you can see here the uh, photograph uh, the ladies performing the tissue culture and this is the culture room the culture room is the most important because culture room the ac is the most important things because plus minus 25 degree celsius temperature maintain in the culture room the racks and this is the fluorescent light the tube light is most important because as like the photoperiodism we will maintain the photoperiodism with the help of this fluorescent light and this is the total is the the moisture condition will be controlled temperature will be controlled and photoperiodism also controlled inside this culture room so this is the uh, working on the inoculation the plant part inoculated in the medium this bottle you can see here the bottom of the bottle the medium ms medium morashi gan skug which is very nutrient mediums then sterilization methods the first of all the sterilization is the most important because without sterilization you can't perform any tissue culture practices because microorganism contamination can overgrow the plant tissue culture resulting in the culture death means your all work will be going to resulting culture death so your performance or your practical will be not okay so that's why first of all sterilization method is the most important the first is the microorganism contamination exhaust the nutrient medium and the microorganism can change it in secondary metabolite structure or produce other compounds hence microorganism occur inside the culture medium they also infect to the plant part and responsible for production of the other secondary metabolites which are not included in our practices so practical or your research so what it will be done the first the explant or culture the vessel the media and the instrument so this is the most important and the environment where 
taking place so important things is the all this material is the sterilized okay so how it sterilize first heat sterilization you can directly put inside the air to clear all these uh, instruments bottles and other uh, materials so in that situation dry heat 130 to 180 degrees celsius for 2 to 4 hours used for glassware metal instruments so atoclave 121 degrees celsius 1.06 kg per c centimeter square or 15 lb for 15 to 20 minutes and used for glassware media and aqueous solution and plastic cups then sterilization by filtration so for heat liability aqueous solution because the uh, some solution is very uh, liable to heats in that condition uh, you can use the filter or filtration then ethanol used for handling surface sterilization and also for explant for giving the uh, washing to the explant and uh, where you are using the ha or handling some instrument uh, this instrument also sterilized by the ethanol then chemical sterilizing using sodium or calcium hypochlorite silver nitrate mercury chloride or some other bactericidal chemicals so all these chemicals used inside the sterilization for your practical so you can see here the total composition of the common used seed sorry common used plant tissue culture media so the main is the micronutrient macronutrient organic supplements such as the vitamins and others so we will see one by one the first the magnesium sulfate kh2po4 na h2po4 kno3 this is the micronutrients and here the this is the macronutrients and this is the micronutrients and vitamins we will see here okay in the next so major constituents also called as the salt mixture then organic substances then natural complexes then inert supportive materials and growth regulators this is the major constituents of the major constituent of the medium or growth medium of the tissue culture so here one minute sorry for a disturbance you can see here the medium vitamin and sucrose so in that situation the medium components this is the macronutrients such as the nh ammonium nitrate potassium nitrate calcium chloride magnesium sulfate and kh2po4 this is the milligram per liter means 1650 is one liter composition <coughs> but we multiplies into 20 times and produce stock solution for 1000 ml stock solution means 50 ml per liter you can take 50 ml then obviously you can uh, take 1650 in 15 ml which are used in the uh, 1 liter medium so final volume is the 33000 milligram or gram milligram converted into gram in 33 so potassium nitrate also 1900 which is also multiply into 20 times so all this is the macronutrient table multiply into 20 times this is the milligram and this is the gram this is the conversion of milligram into gram and multiplies into 20 this stock solution used only for the 1000 stock solution a we are uh, giving the no name to the stock solution A and we are taking from 100,000 uh, ml 
only 15 ml for 1 liter media so the another is as like the micronutrient same this is also micro uh, micronutrients the potassium iodide boric acid magnesium sulfate molybdate zinc sulfate sodium molybdate copper sulfate and cobalt chloride and edta uh, disodium salt dihydrate and ferrous sulfate hepta hydrate this is also milligram per liter uh, the requirement is the 0 0.83 in, we are multiply into 15 times the milligram is the 50, uh, 41.5 and gram converted into 0 0.415 okay so this is the conversion the all uh, milligram this is the requirement for one liter we are multiply into 15 times and this is the milligram milligram converted into grams so this is you can easily uh, observe or easily studied in next situation the vitamins and other so vitamins also important things for the production of all these things means uh, production of um, the important component inside the plants then inositol thymine hcl pyridoxine hcl nicotinic acid this is also milligram per liter requires the 100 milligram per liter 0 0.1 milligram per liter 0 0.5 milligram per liter require we are also multiply into 15 times converted into milligram then milligram converted into gram so milligram 0 0.5 to gram 0 0.05 so 0 0.25 0 0.025 because this is you can take very easily uh, under any balance for uh, 500 ml stock solution C and the finally the for 500 ml stock solution D so glycine 2.0 into 15 so 100 milligram per liter means 0 0.100 gram for 500 milligram so macronutrients what is the use of macronutrients or what is the function of macronutrients inside the plant growth so the first is the nitrogen you all are very well known of the NPK nitrogen phosphorus and potassium this is the very basic so nitrogen influence plant growth rate essential in plant nucleic acid such as the dna protein chlorophyll amino acid and hormones means the nitrogen is the essential components which are produce all these things protein chlorophyll amino acids and hormones then phosphorus which is abundant in meristematic and fast growing tissue essential is photosynthetic respiration this uh, phosphorus is the important because uh, without first phosphorus the meristematic tissue will not work very good so the potassium necessarily for cell division meristematic tissue then helps in the pathway for carbohydrate protein and chlorophyll synthesis so chlorophyll synthesis is responsible for phosphorus the calcium also involved in the formation of cell wall and root and leaf development then participated in translocation of sugar amino acid and ties up oxalic acid then iron also then fena edta means sodium salt and edta sequence iron making it available to plants the magnesium the magnesium involves the photosynthetic because because magnesium is the uh, center of the uh, photograph photosynthetic or chlorophyll uh, reaction center is the magnesium in chlorophyll so active in uptake of the phosphate and translocation of phosphate and starches so sulfur then involving in the formation of nodules and chlorophylls synthesis the structural component of amino acid and enzymes then magnesium involved in the regulation of the enzymes and growth hormones assist in the photosynthesis and respiration so this is the micronutrients micronutrients also involved in the molybdate zinc boron copper the molybdate uh, molybdenum also use involved in the enzymatic reduction of nitrate to ammonia then assist in the conversion of inorganic phosphate to organic form then zinc involved in production of growth hormones zinc is the important for the growth hormones production and chlorophyll then active and respiration and carbohydrate synthesis then boron also involved in production of 
ग्रोथ हार्मोन्स एंड क्लोरोफिल एक्टिव इन द रिस्पायरेशन एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट सिंथेसिस द कॉपर ऑल्सो यूज बाय द प्लांट इन द फोटोसिंथेटिक एंड रिस्पायरेशन सिस्टम्स असिस्ट क्लोरोफाइल सिंथेसिस एंड यूज एज रिएक्शन कैटालाइसिस ओके सो अदर ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स द ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स द कार्बन सोर्स सुक्रोज समटाइम्स ग्लूकोज और फ्रुक्टोज विच इज प्लांट नीड टू द कार्बन देन विटामिन्स एडिनिन पार्ट ऑफ द आर एन ए एंड डी एन ए सो इनोसिटल पार्ट ऑफ द बी कॉम्प्लेक्स इन फॉस्फेट फॉर्म इन पार्ट ऑफ द सेल मेम्ब्रेन ऑर्गेनिल एंड इज नॉट इसेंशियल फॉर ग्रोथ बट बेनिफिशियल देन थाइमिन इसेंशियल एज अ को एंजाइम इन द साइट्रिक एसिड साइकल then natural complexes such as the coconut endosperm also used in the medium then fish emulsion you can use then protein hydro uh, hydrolysates also used then tomato juice you can use inside the medium and yeast extracts also used in the medium the malt extract malt also used and the potato agar potato agar is the important because this is the very nutrients medium you can all this natural complexes used inside the <coughs> medium then charcoals charcoals the role of charcoal is activated charcoal is used as the detoxifying agent means if you are adding the charcoal inside the medium this charcoals detoxifying the medium so detoxifying waste from plant tissue and impurities which are coming from the medium or plant tissue so impurity and absorption quality is very concentrated normally used in 0.3% of lower the charcoal for tissue culture acid wash and neutralized so growth regulators 